Oh, this is pissing you off, Jimmy? I, I just, what is it? Well, exactly, what is it? Well, you're listening to the kings of porno. We are smut peddlers. You are listening to, to smut peddlers. Red Wolf Broadcasting. I wish Who you were. Who the hell is Red Wolf Broadcasting? I've never heard of them. You haven't heard know. of them? No, I, I have not. Uh, just to bring everyone up to speed, we're on a bunch of Citadel radio stations every morning. Yeah. Uh, Farid is a, is a close friend of ours. Well, he's a business associate since he got us in on that IPO. Yeah, that's true. But he's always supported us. He's always looked after us. He uh, he really likes us. He really likes the the radio show we do, and uh, he decided to throw us on a bunch of his stations. Yeah. Well, his company is uh, trying to buy uh, another radio company, ABC. Might have heard of ABC. ABC Radio. And there's rumors that after he buys ABC Radio, he's he's going to throw us on a bunch of other stations as long as we continue doing well. The ABC stations, yeah, the former ABC stations. So he hasn't been able to buy the stations yet. You know, they're going through their the legal blah, blah, blah. Yeah, all this uh, mumbo-jumbo that has to go on before they could buy stations. And uh, uh, some people can come up and say, hey, here's where why I don't want the station, yeah. uh, that, that uh, cluster of stations, to be bought by this cluster of stations. And they get to yap their uh, their piece. And, and I got a call from Super Agent Bob Eatman last night. Yeah, I got a call from Tom Pisano. Like, he's like... Did you read the article that's online? It's going to be everywhere. Oh, oh, God, this could spell the end of time and space itself. Uh, Can it, Bob? This might be it for you guys, I got to tell you. It's not looking good. It's going to be everywhere. I'm Doom like, and gloom, Eatman. <clears throat> I'm like, yeah, I read the article. And I'm like, Bob, tell you the truth. <clears throat> you know, the uh, the website they're talking about, we, we cleaned up. There's nothing on there. He goes... The examples they cite are from February 22nd, 2007. 2007, guys. Oh, we, I, don't, I don't know uh, how we get through this one. So uh, here it is. Red Wolf Petition claims ONA promote pornography. We're smut peddlers, like Anthony said. Nice. Smut peddlers. What are we doing? Nothing. I haven't been a girl in here since we've been here. I'd love to be a smut peddler. Well, we are. Jesus, <laughs> what I love it. Hey, we are working on Big Booby Day for next Wednesday. Yeah, watch that fall apart. Well, we got H Cup Jane. She better call today and tell us she's coming on Wednesday. And then we got uh, J Cup Jen from Hempstead. Yeah. Supposedly, supposedly she's coming down. We're looking for more girls with the big boobies to show up on Wednesday for Big Booby Day. Show up. For once, we want one of our bits to work. <laughs> yeah, come on. All right, anyway. Ladies. And you want to read this one? Yeah, this is uh, great. Red Wolf Broadcasting. Like I said, uh, Red Wolf? What are they? I don't know. I really, is it, it a chew in the backy? We've been doing this a long time. I've never heard of Red Wolf Broadcasting. It must be a very, very tiny uh, radio company. Yeah. Red Wolf Broadcasting, with an agenda, obviously, has filed a second supplement petition to deny Citadel's previously announced deal to acquire some 24 ABC major market outlets. The complaint centers on syndicated hosts Opie and Anthony. Da -da. Da -da. Yeah, huh. um, which currently air in 10 of Citadel's markets. Uh, Red Wolf Broadcasting claims that the duo, through various promotions such as Whip 'em Out Wednesday, use the public airwaves to promote and profit. From the sale of pornographic material through their website. Let me tell you something. I don't think I no, I know. I've not made a dime off, porn. off of anything that's to happen on a website. Oh, that's a good chase of the day on um, <clears throat> God, if we were making money off the porn on yeah. websites, we wouldn't have to do this anymore. Wouldn't have to be here. Those guys are rich. But uh wow. Porn peddlers on the internet? Mm -hmm. They're the ones making all the money. Mm-hmm. No, I, I've not seen a dime with that. I mean, I, I don't, I don't know what other websites do, especially unofficial websites of ours, to make money to pay for their bandwidth. But that's not our responsibility. That's not our uh, uh, place to go in there and, and tell them what they can or can't put on their websites. All right, so Let's we're promoting and profiting from the sale profiting of pornographic the, materials through their websites. The petition charges that Citadel added the duo's show in several markets, despite being quote. Well aware that it was playing with fire <laughs> and, quote, shows corporate profits over the public interest. 
the public interest. What is this? Who decides what the public interest right. is? If it's a popular show, then I think uh, the public interest is being served. Is there. If it's not, the show's gone. That's right. That's the public interest. The pleading claims that ONA not only used their website to, quote, promote the sale of pornographic materials, end quote, but they offer these web-based materials to the youngest of Citadel's listeners without age verification. Like I clicked on yesterday. Yeah, because age verification works really well. Are you 18? Uh, yes. Yes. Click. All right. Yeah, you're proven. free to look at these. Oh, Peruse as much porno as you want. And you're too old to be in here. Yes, go away. What do you think of this, lad? <laughs> Young lad. Um... The petition also charges that Opie and Anthony, quote, do not limit the promotion of their website, but rather use their broadcast time to constantly drive listeners to their site. This is not radio promotion, but a form of plugola. Oh, oh, what are they talking about? We have a website. We're a very interactive radio show. We have a website yeah. that uh, that brings it to fan sites that that hate the radio show, and then we have uh, clips from the radio show the, from things we're doing in studio. Yeah, aren't isn't Plugola supposed to be what you get, like money you receive for doing something? How come it costs me to do things? Like I have uh, certain uh, web addresses that I pay for. Uh, Pal Talk is another thing. I pay for the subscription. Uh, it's it's not like I'm making money or we're making any money off of this stuff. If you read this uh, literally, they're saying that we're plugging the website. We don't give a crap about our actual radio show. We're plugging our website because there's porno on it. There's porno on there. We want you guys to go there, click on this stuff because we're making money. Because then we as make you, money selling the porno. As you view the porno on our website. That is ridiculous. These douchebags have it so wrong. You could not, Red Wolf Broadcasting, hello, you could not have this situation more wrong. Could not be more wrong. Plugola would be, yeah, if we were making money by using these airwaves to promote something, like the website that they're, they're citing here, a website with pornography on it. The listener then goes there, buys pornography, of which we get in a back room, me and Opie, counting up the <laughs> filthy pornographic money. Dirty, One, dirty money. Two, three, licking We're, our dirty sex fingers. Do we have. So you could slide the dollars off. Three, four, mwah. I love porno money. Do we have visors on? Yes, visors on We're, as we divvy up one, the two, stacks. Three, four, five, six, seven here. Of porn money. And we probably have strippers around us as we're counting. Right, we're doing We can't get enough of the of porn. Poke off of their stomachs. We're getting lap dancers. Oh, it's as we great. count dirty money. Laughing at people like Red Wolf Broadcasting. <laughs> They'll <laughs> never catch <laughs> us. <laughs> I say we're in a, in, a, in a building on the top of Manhattan, just looking over the entire city. Overlooking. We got everyone just fooled. Snap of the fingers, <laughs> and all you hear is <laughs> zip. <laughs> Anytime we want it. Club Soda Kenny's our bag man. Yeah, he's not he's a, a bag he's man. He's not a douche that just gets our coffee every morning. He's secretly douche. He's secretly <laughs> collecting the money, making the drops, making the drops, and yeah, uh, everything. Breaking arms and legs if you don't pay. We're banging on the listener's door. Yes. You owe us for the porn we gave you. Didn't you buy <laughs> porno off our website that we promoted illegally? Pay up! <laughs> pay up! Kenny's just breaking arms left and right. You're, you're not paying? You son of a... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, get it. Oh, here's the wife. Beat her up, too. Yeah. And then make her star in one of our pornos. That's right. That's what this show's about. We're not trying to entertain America. We're selling pornography. <laughs> you dopes. You really are a this bunch is of a, dope. This is the weakest friggin' argument I've ever heard for a station to not acquire another uh, company. I say another bunch of stations. I say there's some slander here. I say that's uh, what I say. I say we uh, countersuit. Start, countersuit and start planning for our retirement. They're nice. Just, a small company probably was mad at the city that wants to buy stations, right? Is that what they are? Yeah, apparently there's some kind of competition thing, I bet, that's going on. They have this uh, 
uh, little bone to pick more with Citadel. Look, the reality and is we we know what our listeners like, and, and sometimes it might be a little saucy. Sometimes it might a little saucy. It might be a little booby shot. Are we here and sauce there. peddlers? <laughs> But it's uh, as far as like uh, making money off pornographic material, you're you're nuts. Well, they say this is not radio promotion, but a form of plugola. Mm-hmm. Opie and Anthony and Citadel, by association, are in the business of selling hardcore pornography, sex chat, and sex search websites. Referring to the ability of listeners to click on any link and transfer to a related oh, Opie the- and Anthony website. All right, don't say the website. <laughs> oh, boy, do I hope he gets sued. Oh. I don't want to go to jail. <laughs> Your Honor, I swear it's not my fault. It was Opie and Anthony. Are you kidding my me? Peddlers. <laughs> Out of all of us. My diet doesn't... I can't eat prison food. <laughs> Out of all of us, who do you think would love to go to jail for a weekend? <laughs> who are you kidding? <laughs> I have a stable stomach. Yes. This prison gruel isn't suiting me. <laughs> I'll take one for the team. <laughs> Although I can work out all the time. <laughs> yes. As long as the white supremacists or the blacks don't beat me. I'll, I'll do weekends in jail. <laughs> Volunteers for shower duty. Oh yeah, of course. I'll clean the drain. I'll squeegee the floors I'll, of the shower. I'll scrub the showers naked every afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> Whoopsie daisy with the soap. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just standing there, bent over, picking the soap up, looking behind him, not really picking it up, just waiting for someone to come in. Now I've heard it all, though, man. We're uh, we're porn we're porn peddlers. Opie. Hardcore pornography. Hardcore porn. Do you understand there's a difference between what some people consider pornography and what some people consider hardcore pornography? I don't think there's really... Um, I, I don't think people dispute what hardcore porno is, even if they're prudes or if they're in the industry. I think everyone knows what hardcore pornography is. What the hell is this idiot talking about? Hardcore. If oh. there's a couple of pictures of of breasts... On a website, does that constitute hardcore pornography? That could shut down our entire economy. Uh, of course it could. And religion. And religion. We'll tell you about it. And it affected Wall Street this week. Yeah. I blame the boobies. <laughs> Red Wolf Broadcasting. Can we get a little uh, info on Red Wolf? Uh, how many stations they own? Where they are? Yeah, what do their, you know anything about Red Wolf? What their axe to grind is? Yeah, I just Googled them. I saw... There's no actual website, uh-huh. or at least it's not on the first. Well, there would be porno on it because it's a website. You know how that w- internet is every, full of porno. Every website clicks to porno eventually. This reeks of holy roller, by the way. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. And then the, there's one station that comes up in a Wikipedia entry <laughs> in Connecticut. Ah, uh, and that's okay. it so far. Well, I do happen to know that um, Citadel owns a station up there in Connecticut that we're on. Yeah, right. Uh, I think aren't so. We, aren't we on New like London, the Wolf? I want to say. New London? The Wolf, yeah, sure. On the Wolf. Yeah. Hey, Wolf. Out of uh, the casino up there. <laughs> All right. So there you go. We had to deal with that yesterday. Mohegan. And that's why Tom called me, and I didn't. I decided not to answer the phone. Yeah. All I right. I talked to Tom a little bit. I talked to Bob, so. There you go. We calmed everyone down. Well, I, I, got hap- I got happy, Tom. You got depressed. Oh, I was Doom and gloom, Bob. Oh, my God. What are we going to do about this one? I don't know, Bob. I don't know. All Bob's phone calls these days are just, uh, oh, guys, we got to work on this. I just, um, oh, God, look, did you read the article? It's, did you read it? Yes, Bob, it's a bunch of crap. Yes, but this crap can just spread. It's like a cancer. It can spread. It's a disease that'll, no, Bob, I think it's pretty good. I like the publicity from it. Um, we've been in the news now for a few days running in a row, which is nice for the show. No, no, Jesus. it's never good. Oh, Jesus, oh. if I may either use the word of your Lord. Jesus, <laughs> you, you know, the ones that my people killed. I, uh... <laughs> people get scared all the time. Remember, uh, remember Dave Douglas back in the day? Oh, Dave Douglas. We were nobodies broadcasting out of Worcester, sort of starting to make a name for ourselves. Trying and, our best. And then, um, and that's when the Howard thing started. He would, he started talking about us and beating us up. And we're like, you know what? F this guy. We're, we're not going to take that crap. So we started beating him back up. And I guess there was an article or something, or it made a website, and Dave's like, oh, this is not good. This is. Like, how is it not good that 
the biggest guy in FM radio is talking about you. That was the deal Remember with that? Dave Douglas. Anytime anyone on the show, on the station, got press, he was upset about it unless it was band related. Mm -hmm. Because that was like, you know, a rock, you know, hard rock station, um, alternative kind of thing. And, and when it was like, hey, this band came in and performed live. He was like, hey, did you see this? Blah, blah. But anytime it was a little controversial where the jocks themselves, not the station, would get the press, he didn't like that. Gee, I wonder where that was coming from. Yeah. He didn't want any stars in the building. He wanted the whole station to be the star, and that was it. No standout personalities. Well, that's it, why Dickhead is still over there. Uh, I don't know where uh, he is. No, the Hillman. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, That's why yeah. he's still there, because, you know, pay attention to those rules. Never be a star. Yep. Just company line. Yep. Just be be the station. We're syndicated all over the world, and Hillman sits in Worcester. We sat there doing and man knew. town bits. Ugh. How long before we knew we were out of there in like just a matter of time? Oh yeah, it was the second we started talking and started doing better than we were when we just played music. All bets were off. We just sat there and went, "Let's talk." To where where uh, uh, Brucey came in, oh, boys, because uh, we used to just blow music off. Yeah, we said we just the music. ah well the music, and they wouldn't mind at first because we were blowing off like what they would consider filler songs, like some of your classic rock. Just to things, fill up the hour, to fill them up. But your currents, which were your new songs that came in that they actually had to sit and wheel and deal with the record company the, with the payola tracks, the payola tracks, right? The ones that the record company would come in yeah. and pay the PDs with cocaine. And, yeah, cocaine or, and. Or, or, and money, wars. stuff like yeah. that, or they're hardcore called, pornography. They're called the payola uh, tracks. So. The payola tracks. And the, and, and the record companies used to keep track. Because <laughs> you would promise them like 20 spins a week, let's say. Right. And you'd get your cocaine, your whores, and your and your trips. I'm and not saying cash. Dave Douglas got this. I have no idea. Or your free uh, DVDs and CDs. Free DVDs. In the back room. Sure, sure. Yeah. Uh, so when we're blowing off the payola tracks, that, that, ah, that makes a lot of people... That breaks uh, the deal. Yeah. A lot of people are making less money. So we started blowing some of those off, and uh, Brucey had come in, boys, what are we, uh, what are we doing, a talk show now? <laughs> and it was like revelation. <laughs> I looked at Opie, he looked at me, our eyes lit up, a light bulb went over uh, our heads, and we went, yeah. talk show. No, that's very interesting, Mr. Norton. A talk show. <laughs> right. Dak, here's a bridge. Hit the ball. <laughs> and what? The pool episode. A mere ten years later, we're still doing a talk show. Yeah, yeah. And Hillman rots in Worcester doing, you know, gay man town bits. Playing, you know, t he, talking in between music that he's got to play. I, I, I bet you uh, right about now he's like, man, why did I listen to everybody? Yeah, that's what happens. Uh, you know why? Everybody. Because he didn't have the balls to try anything. That's why. Let's be honest with everybody. So sit there. We're where we are today because we had the balls to take chances and we got fired. And, and, and we should have been fired another five or six times, but we lucked out. That's hey, why we're here. There's still time, Opie. That's what I say. Oh, the, the, the next time's <laughs> going to be a doozy. I guarantee we will get fired again, and that'll be it. So you should just enjoy the show until that happens. But guys like uh, uh, Hillman and the rest of them, they, a lot of these guys kind of jealous of our success. The reason you guys never you never took a chance in your life. Yeah. You played it safe your entire radio careers. That's why. So they sit still in Worcester. Oh, my God. I was teaching Than yesterday. The fake Bono bit that we did for almost an hour, that is us taking a chance. Guess what? We're brave enough to tell you the bit uh, fell short yesterday. But you got to be brave enough to take those uh, chances and try to get something that's just a, a massive home run. I think it was good. It went a little long is what it was. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know why? Because we're selfish. <laughs> it was so much fun to hang out that window and watch those idiots. Well, and and we really thought we could get a huge mob scene. Yeah. And it didn't work out. But you gotta, you gotta still got a little hook good, in the water. Still, still got some good radio out of it. But that's why Hillman continues to do stupid man town bits. Man and that's why town. Preston and Steve in Philly haven't forgot about those two douches. They're not syndicated anywhere either because they're not they're not taking chances. They're doing very very safe radio. Keep it safe. Keeping it very very safe. And then they read articles about us almost on a regular basis at this point. Going, and then the jealousy just flows from these people. It's like, it's like well, why can't we get it in the news? No, why? Because you never took a chance with your career, you dopes. You got to be fired a few times. <laughs> that, that's the way it works. I'm serious. That shows that you're really taking chances and really really pushing the edge and the and the envelope. Or at least do what this show does, which is promote pornography and get paid. Right. Hey, do we have Dada da, Dave? Get paid. Maybe after the break. What happened? Can't play Dave material here. Hokey Pokey in the blank will not make it through. Oh, that's hokey too pokey. bad. One of our classic bits from the old days. All right. 
Uh, We're just getting warmed up here. Yeah. Yes, uh, yeah. that was the Red Wolf uh, thing. Yeah. I, I don't know uh, what it is. We'll, we'll have to do more research on ah, it. We'll see it sounds like a malt liquor. Yeah. Doesn't it? Red Wolf malt liquor. We'll see if it has legs, but uh, calling us smut peddlers, I, I, I say Thank we... You. I say for the first time in our careers we we uh, we sue someone for slander. A peddler. I say that's what. Picture we do. going around with a like a oh, a wooden cart, <laughs> like in the old west. Smut here, and you'll get a free bottle of this elixir, <laughs> guaranteed to grow hair. I I just love the visual you gave everybody. Us in the back room with visors on, yeah, counting, counting dirty, us, dirty money, dirty smut money, and just laughing with big cigars. We, we have <laughs> we have clothespins on our nose because the money's so dirty. It's just oh, it stinks. stinks. We it's have crusty. The money's crusty because you don't know where it's been. We have to throw it through a laundromat. Yeah, we put it in a dryer with poker chips. <laughs> right. <laughs> Got to clean up the money. Oh, and then Club Soda Kenny's just dragging out bags of money through the back doors. I don't know, guys. <laughs> this looks a little risky to me. You know, this could be considered hardcore porn. <laughs> Kenneth, just Ang angel fish. Just laughing the whole way to the bank. <laughs> 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 Getting right. the armored car open. <laughs> Hey, very cool. Big uh, cigar. <laughs> we're fired up this morning, I got to tell you. I got to tell you, we're fired up. <laughs> yeah. Good morning with the Wake Up Club. It's the Wake Up Club with Opie and Anthony. And Jim Norton. I love it. <laughs> I love how we I love how we work by the way. This article comes out overnight. We'll explain again because uh sorry, but we have to explain again cuz uh, people are tuning in the show for the first time today. That's why we got to re-explain this. See now I got to I got to explain why we ex explain the explanation. Things. Yeah, of Please. course. But uh there's this uh little radio company called Red Wolf Broadcasting and uh there's an AP article out there. It, it might get some uh it might get some juice today. I don't know. But basically, uh, this uh, broadcasting company is calling us smut peddlers. Smut peddlers. And that we're taking money. Accusing us of uh, payola, which is the, the, the carnal sin. Plugola, actually. Of a plugola. Yeah, uh, that a means we're getting sin. not necessarily money, but we're getting like you know, and yeah, yeah, and a little, and a little, and a little, and a little uh, uh, z z yeah, what? getting a lot of uh, and some, getting a lot of favors and trips. We're and, getting uh, some Charlie Callis. What are we? <laughs> we're getting some who is thirty-year-old pack comic reference. <laughs> <laughs> and our people behind the scenes, they're uh, they're calling Anthony and I like, oh god. This could be the demise of the show. Oh my God, Bob oh Doom and God. Gloom Eatman. Bob should make every phone call with a hood and a sickle. <laughs> I think he might. He uh, should just. They, Bob should get a job calling people to tell them loved ones are dead. Do I? He would enjoy that actually. I have to tell you, I'm sorry. There was an accident. Um, your teen uh, is uh, dead. It was a horrible, horrible crash. He, he should be the one that he knocks should just on your be door. The one. <laughs> no, oh, yeah, right to the door. Knocks on your door and interrupts your uh, afternoon tea. Pulls up in a hearse. With some horrific news, right? <laughs> and he'd go, I'm sorry to inform you, but uh, your wife is dead. And the guy would go, Phew. thank God, I thought you were going to tell me that I had to talk to you for 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we're not running scared. We're going we're gonna to have some fun with this today, that's for sure. Red Wolf Petition Claims ONA Promote Pornography. Basically, uh, the gist of this is uh, we're on a bunch of Citadel radio stations. Our buddy Fareed uh, saw it our way and realized uh, he needs us as his morning show. We kid Fareed, but we do like Fareed. Yeah, we like uh, Fareed a lot. And uh, Citadel is trying to buy ABC Radio, and they got uh, radio stations in major markets across America. Mm -hmm. And this is a petition by Red Wolf Broadcasting saying that they should not be able to buy the ABC radio stations because they hired us. Because of us. And the reason is we're smut peddlers, and we're using our websites to get our listeners to go there to click on stuff and view pornography. And then in return, we get plugola. We get something in return. Yeah, baby. Plugola usually means nice. drugs and hookers and, and free trips and, and CDs and DVDs. The and good stereo stuff equipment. is pouring in, Opie. That's right. The porno goes out. The good crap comes pouring in for us. And uh, they also claim that when they hired us, Citadel, they were well aware that uh, they were playing with fire by hiring the Opie and Anthony show. Ooh. No, they hired us because they know we, uh, you know, get people listening. We get ratings up. 
Get people talking, we, too. We have even a lo- you. We have Jackass. a loyal following. What this really is about, um, Red Wolf Broadcasting, we're doing some research. They, they own like two radio stations in Connecticut, something Ooh. like that. Two or three. They're a very tiny radio company. And they're scared because we have come to their town to beat their, uh, their morning shows. Uh, which really looks like a tough job. Right. When that- we've looked over their uh, roster of uh, air talent. And wow, this could be really a tough job. Wake up club. So um, we uh, we did some research, and uh, there's a show called Glenn and Rebecca. What station are they on? Or what, what's the letters? Because people might want to look them up and see what they look like. It's soft rock. Listen to the call letters. I just figured it figured it out. One oh six point five. Oh, you figured out uh, some the letters mean something? W B M W. Um we're bowel movements. <laughs> <laughs> weird bowel movements weird. <laughs> <laughs> movements <laughs> Soft Rock with Glenn and Rebecca, the wake up club. Wake up with Soft Rock, WBMW, weekday mornings with Glenn and Rebecca. We'll keep you up to date and well-informed with local news and weather every half hour. Of course. Along with Time Saver traffic every 15 minutes. Hey, here comes your Time Saver traffic. Check in for all your celebrity gossip. At 620, 720, and 820. So you know on the 20s. You're getting that celebrity gossip. You're going to hear something. We'll feature an hour of nonstop soft rock at 8.30. And women have the power in the 9 o'clock hour with special stories from women and health, beauty, and financial tips. Listen for your chance to win. Plenty of great prizes all morning long. Start your day the right way with Glenn and Rebecca. The 9 o'clock hour. You get women have the power in the 9 o'clock hour. Here it comes. That must be great for uh, uh, Glenn to have to sit there and listen to that. Although he doesn't look like much of a man in that picture. Yeah, he looks he really pretty doesn't. beaten down at this point. Who pointed out that it looks like Archie and Edith? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> They're sitting out. at the piano. Yeah, yeah, they look like a, a, yeah, like a slightly younger Archie and Edith. And, and that's the best uh, Glenn could look like because that's, that's his uh, publicity shot. And he looks really tired and worn out. He looks beaten down by uh, Rebecca. Oh, yeah. He probably had big dreams of uh, being a huge radio show host, and he's stuck in a tiny town in Connecticut uh, listening to Rebecca's drivel. You think he loves that that 9 o'clock hour when the women have power hour comes up and they talk about, like, cramps Mm -hmm. and, and ovaries? See, you had to stuff one side of your bra if things haven't been going well. That's right. That's right. <laughs> That's what's going on with Red Wolf Broadcasting. They're the polar opposite of this radio show. Oh, it is w- the Wake Up Club, they call it. Yeah. With Glenn and Rebecca. And uh, listen for your chance to win plenty of great prizes all morning long. Start your day the right way with and Glenn and Rebecca. Nothing says good radio. Yeah. Then jingles. Ooh. Jingle jangles. Time for your morning checklist. Toast not burning in the toaster? Check. Kids taking their lunches out of the fridge? Check. Making Glenn and Rebecca and the Soft Rock 106.5 WBMW Wake Up Club a part of your morning routine? Check. Ugh. Oh, my God. Uh, Toast not burning? Check. Kids out of the check. Ovarian cancer? Check. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we hit hard. Oh, Oh, yeah, we do. Husband arrested in a rest area? Check. 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 (laughs) Love Glenn and Rebecca. Glenn and Rebecca. I think he calls her Becca or Becky. It's got to be a cute name he gives her. She lo- he's a little fatso, and she looks like Blythe Danner, who was uh, who was the wife in the great Santini. Her- yes. <laughs> this guy should be killed in a plane crash like Bull Meacham was. <laughs> 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 they actually they, they look like um, like just parents. <laughs> they look like parents, don't they? Like 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 the overbearing parents who who think they're doing the right thing with their kids, yet their kids are just drug addicts and sluts. Yeah, that's kind of what they look like. And this is why we should take this very seriously today. Uh, this Red Baron Broadcasting Company, Red Wolf, Red Wolf, whatever. Red Baron, I don't know. Nah, there's a biplane Red coming Wolf. at us. Red Wolf. What? By the way, what is the BMW? You said you figured it out. Uh, well, it's a car. It's the car, obviously. So they're you very think? they're very safe. Yeah. 
Oh. Everyone's driving around in their BMWs listening to very safe radio. Safe. Soft rock. No one's going to be offended. And and this uh, this broadcasting company, this is why, you know, we should take this seriously. They want all radio to sound like this. And the more and more you listen to the local stations in your town, you hear nothing but this crap. This is the garbage that they, they're pushing. Like everybody, if you read uh, Industry Insiders uh, publications and stuff, they all talk about this local. The local angle has just been destroyed because of uh, uh, companies buying up so many stations and syndication that we're losing the local flavor. This is the local flavor, and it tastes like garbage. See, it's it's crap. This is drivel. That's why. That's what. That's how they're trying to defend against our show. Is say, uh, just keep it local, guys. Keep it local, and uh, and you'll beat the Opie and Anthony show. But what they don't understand is we're building a Opie and Anthony community, which is a lot different than giving uh, traffic reports and weather reports and and local news about some some dumb story no one cares about 10 seconds after they hear it yeah but i think people think you're incapable of actually turning a dial and then turning back again because mm -hmm. <laughs> uh i'll be honest with you when i need traffic i go to 10 10 wins here in new york sure i know when they run their traffic and i i go there i see if the expressway is clear if i need to go to the parkway or something like that and uh then i'm back to whatever i want to listen to yeah and that's it if you're doing your your traffic every 15 minutes on your own morning show, that means you failed in radio oh, did years you ago. Oh, fail miserably years ago. If you're and you know they probably at some point have done something where they kind of might have missed one or gone all over, and the, they just got yelled at. We have to go. The traffic has to be on every 15. Yeah. The people depend on it. Just another show that never took uh, chances. Uh, before we could form, you know, I'd rather be just yanked off the radio. That's that's what this show's all about. Please. Let's do, if we have any more of Glenn and Rebecca. I got I we I have, am compelled to listen not to Not only do we have Glenn and Rebecca, we got oh. fresh oh. unlike Rebecca. We got fresh <laughs> Wake Up Club uh Audio. I want for that one here. Wake up club audio. Open. This is this is brand new coming in as we speak. Good. I don't have to wait till I get home where I tape it. I know. Here is uh, the wake up club. Glenn and Rebecca. <laughs> want to copy off from me? Did you watch uh, American Idol last night? Caught little bits and pieces. Yeah. I went to bed. I expected that I would fall asleep, and I ended up staying up for the whole thing. But I think Melinda Doolittle. She sang the Valentine song. She is going to be the winner. I think she you was think amazing. So, huh? Well, you're gonna put money on that? Yeah, you know, maybe I no, I don't gamble. No. <laughs> maybe a, a nickel. <laughs> there are plenty of venues to do that around here. Right, right. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Way to play you it safe. You do what we tell you to do, you dirty low down slut. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Way to play it safe, though. I don't, I don't gamble. But dude, I, I honestly, because like, that's the safe thing to say. <laughs> what is the laugh she gives at the end of that? I don't gamble. <laughs> who, who's like, who thinks like yeah, that was a pretty good one? I don't gamble. She gamble the old She's girl. a real card. Uh, Maybe she might gamble a nickel because that's kind of safe. That's just kind of throwing nickel. a little change around in the office. I don't gamble aside from you know, not using rubbers. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Take the ultimate gamble. <laughs> Wouldn't that? Now that would have been funny. If I don't yeah. gamble, except being unprotected with gentlemen of color. <laughs> <laughs> and he would have said, I would have wondered why you were walking funny. And they high five on you. Uh, go to spots. <laughs> uh, I wonder if Red Wolf is happy that they got our attention now. Oh, you got us. You got yeah. our attention now. You are a blip on our radar now. Oh, yeah. Fire. Glenn and Rebecca. Wow. Fox One. Safe radio at its best. You want to hear more? I, I, Who wouldn't? I hear. Hey, they do a break on coffee. Because every morning show should do a whole break on coffee. Yeah. What do you like in your coffee? Yeah, we're talking about coffee this morning. Oh, how you doing? Thank you for the reverb. Going to be talking about coffee all morning long. What kind of coffee do you like? I know a lot of people like Dunkin' Donuts coffee. A lot of people like Starbucks. A lot of different flavors and coffees these days. The old days, it was, just, uh, it was milk and sugar. 
You had a light and sweet, or you had a black. You had it just with sugar. You had it just with milk, or you just had a black. Did I say black? <laughs> Get the fire hoses in German shepherds. <laughs> I live in the past. But uh, we're talking about coffee today. And cups. We could talk about coffee cups. Do you like the paper ones they give you, the waxy little coating? Do you like your own mug? <laughs> Uh, what size coffee do you like? I don't even know how to order in those. What is it? Uh, star, star of, uh, moons? Yeah. Uh, the, I don't know. The, I just go to my local deli. I've been going to the past 50 years. And I get my cup of coffee from the guy I know. Not a ruthless savage from uh, one of these other uh, newer delis. And not some hippie kid who probably has AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, here they are talking about coffee. Glenn and Rebecca, the wake-up club. Coffee. Or coffee. Maybe we can bet a Dunkin' Donuts coffee. Dunkin' Donuts coffee. Well, I already owe you one at this point. This, no. co this coconut coffee is fantastic. Is it good? Do you it like is. it? I it really it. takes the edge off my morning. Yeah, I honestly thought it would be a little bit weird at first when I heard coconut coffee, and I thought, hmm, I'm not sure about that. But my friends no, convinced well, me to try it, and I've come Wow, you mentioned it. I said, that sounds like a good idea. Yeah, good. I'm loving it. Her, oh, she you're She bowed under to the it. peer pressure of her friends. Her friends actually had to go, look, all kidding aside, try it. Do it. Do it. Come on, just this once, Becca. Coconut coffee. I, I don't know if I Rebecca, should. Rebecca. Come on, everyone's drinking it. Everyone's drinking it. Just a taste. And and look, you don't even have to pay for this one. I'm giving you the first one for free. If you like it, come back to me, and I'll get you some more. I hate It's coconutty delicious. I hate to say it, but I feel sorry for Glenn. <laughs> do you? <laughs> yeah. Do you, do you like that coffee? Do you like? Well, I love it. It's coconut, oh. and it's coffee. It's delicious, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> This is horrid. Yeah, well, this is what uh, this is what you know. Radio in general wants out there. Wow, he's what, safe crap. He's right off. Talk about American Idol and coffee. He should have paid it. He also he's a coffee. He's like I think I owe you one. He should have just gotten the pot and then <laughs> and then splashed it in her face and said, "Here's the coffee I owe you." <laughs> Could you just uh, uh, coffee? Yeah, I owe you coffee. I do. Here you go. <laughs> Oh, it's, look at it. It's, it's burning her face. Let me get that off of you. And now I'll just sing. Uh, let's say hi to Dan. Dan, what's going on? Yo, what's happening, boys? Hey, Dan. Yeah, I uh, actually live up there. And uh, Rebecca had a really big scandal about six months ago where she uh, had gambled away a bunch of... Uh, uh, their savings, her and her husband's savings. I that, don't that's, know that's this. Is, look. We have no idea what uh, Rebecca does. I don't know what Rebecca does. You can't just go accusing people of those things. We need info. If there's we a new story or something, info. that would be great. Back it up with some friggin' news and we'll talk about it. Yeah, we can't uh, just uh, take uh, take your word there. Like they're doing. As, as, uh, that's right. Like where they just uh, come up and say we're taking Plugola. As a matter of fact, I uh, see there's a Dunkin' Donuts banner yeah. on their site. Ooh. And then they talk about Dunkin' Donuts coffee. Uh, Plugola? That would be considered Plugola, if you ask me. In my in my opinion, as a lawyer. And I am a, a lawyer. You want to hear one more for now? Please. I mean, we, one, got, we got more for the rest of the one morning. Fifty. I think we might have to blow off the rest of uh, the things we wanted to do today. You know what it is? It's, it's one of those, especially that last break. All that flashed in my head was Will Farrell and Sherry O'Terry doing one of those yeah. morning show bits where they just sit there with a the giant cup of coffee, just talking about their coffee, yeah. and it's just babbling. That's it's perfect. It's a perfect parody of a radio show, but it's real. No one listens to this horse crap. That's why you walk around, and you see everybody with their iPods. That this is the reason why. Yep. Because they're not fine. They're not listening to anything that's gonna like stimulate them in any way. This is just just background uh, music, basically. It's just babble. Wow. It's great stuff. Wow. Uh, well, we got the breakfast brain buster of the morning. Breakfast brain buster. More from the Wake Up Club. Can we steal that? Glenn and Rebecca. The winner is Soft Rock 106.5 Breakfast Brain Buster. And our brain buster for this morning. Uh, what Jamaican beer saw sales soar by over 50% after Tom Cruise guzzled one down hey, in man. the movie The Firm? Yeah, man. Hey, man. I went to Jamaica on vacation this oh. year, and we had a few of these. You uh, did, huh? Yeah. You just, wash. 
<laughs> so you know from firsthand experience. <laughs> right. What, a few Jamaicans or the beer? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, 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 uh, you, I only wish it was a few Jamaicans. A few Jamaicans. <laughs> oh, it's a fun beer where you lay on your back and four or five gentlemen stand around you and treat your face like a cracker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Glenn, I wasn't talking about the beer. <laughs> they do look like they, they would go to a key party or something, these two. Uh, actually, the brain buster of the morning was their uh, chat with Bob Woodruff. <laughs> what? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> a little slow yeah. today. Yeah. Stupid uh, Bob. Right. <laughs> Bob, get in the tank, you idiot. Get a hold of yourself. Poking regarding... his head up <laughs> like a friggin' whack-a-mole. They just whacked him and, right over the head. And if they're the perfect radio show, they give you the brain buster. Then they go to commercials to make you linger longer. Linger longer. We won't give you the uh, answer right away. But who's sitting there going, I got to continue to listen to these guys. I got to know what beer. What you making beer? Could it be Red Stripe? Is that the only Jamaican beer there is? I have no idea. More or less. I would assume a Red Stripe. More or less. By the way, I was drinking that Red Stripe. Is there a Red Stripe banner on their friggin' uh, on their website? Seems to be all they do. It's mentioned products. All right, we're going to get more uh, Glenn and Rebecca. Please. Because they're just terrific. I love these two. And don't forget, we're oh. smut peddlers, according to the company that uh, owns the Glenn and Rebecca show. That picture of them... On the uh, wake-up call, their little publicity shot, looks like a picture of a husband and wife that they put in the paper after they were murdered in a home invasion. <laughs> Doesn't that just look like, you know, wow, they kind of, you know, they look nice enough people. That's a shame that that had to happen to them. You know, there's Rebecca, probably a mom, and there, there's Glenn, looked like he worked uh, a lot his whole life, and... Just to have that crowd of guys come in and, and gang rape her and then, and then beat him senseless as he had to watch and then shoot them both in the back of the head. From a distance from here, she looks like a young op. She looks like a, a oh, young <laughs> Yeah, all right. So I had some bad hairstyles over the years, but uh, is that no the, uh, need for that? AAF hair or is all that right. the DAB days? All right, look. At the time, it made sense. I should talk, go to a hip-hop station website, and let's look at what my hair used to look like. Jimmy, that hurts today. Why? Well, I have no defense. <laughs> that hurts. Only from far away. It sucks when I have no defense. I can't even argue the point. I had some bad hairstyles. Ugh. Ugh. I bet Glenn goes to the barber shop. That hairstyle looks like he goes to the place with the little swirly red, white, and blue striped I think Glenn goes thing. Uh, to some other places. <laughs> the, let the rest stop. Uh, there's something going on with Glenn. I don't know Glenn <laughs> at all, but you look at the picture and there's something going on there. Mm. All right, E-Rock, you don't have to show uh, old pictures of me now. Very happy. See, that hair is okay there with Ron Jeremy back in, uh, I don't know, 2000. God, I'm almost, look at my belly. It looks like Ron Jeremy's. Yeah. <laughs> it's the Wake Up Club. By oh, the way, we're smart oh. peddlers, uh, according to this dumb little radio company. Uh, yes, we are. Red claiming that uh, we're making money off having our listeners go to our websites to, to view porn. Trying to stop the Citadel ABC deal based solely on us being smut peddlers. Well, if we're going to be smut peddlers, we should uh, talk about the new DVD releases, Anthony. You want to do this or what? Yeah, sure. All right. We'll get the echo in. Yeah. Here we go. Uh, smut peddler uh, DVD releases we're going for. It's uh, I Did My Lawn Boy. <laughs> That's a new one. Uh, too big to be true. Four, four-eyed freaks. A two M ten. What is that? I have no idea, Anthony. A two M ten. A print ass six. <laughs> <laughs> These are actual uh, titles, by the way. Asian insemination six. <laughs> oh my god. Ass offensive seven. Uh huh. Back in black two. Uh, bald Beavers 3. Bald Beavers! Big Ass Badaka Dog Bash. Yeah. Trans Obsession. Uh oh, you know what that is? Jimmy, what? Jim, here's a pen, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> Write it down, Jimmy. Angels of Debauchery 5. House of Shemales 5. House of Shemales 5. Was dis House of Shemales 4 was disappointing. The plot line was weak. But it left so many unanswered questions. Exactly. <laughs> Why are you not clipped? <laughs> Big Bubble Butt Brazilian Orgy 8. <laughs> wow, 8. Crack Her Jack 7. 
We know what that means. We take it black. <laughs> <laughs> this is my the next this one. Is my favorite. This is by far my favorite. And be sure to pick up Destination Dirt Pipe Two. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going? Dirt pipe. Yeah. Destination dirt pipe too. Who let the whores out to? Woof, woof, woof. And glazed and confused six. <laughs> there you go. And of course, happy scrappy hero pup. So there it is. Uh, your latest smut peddling DVD releases from the Opie and Anthony show. Oh, we can't say that. No, we can't. That's a say good that. one though. Yeah, that's that's always a treat for everybody involved. A A to mouth. Oh! More Wake Up Club audio. Yeah, Wake Up Club. Courtesy of Sam. Thank you, Sam. What's the name of the show again? I forgot already. Glad he's black. Know. He's white. We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bet you nickel he's white. I don't gamble. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, Glenn and Rebecca up there in Connecticut. Glenn and Rebecca. One of the stations that uh, Red Wolf Broadcasting owns. They're scared of us is what it is. You know, Citadel decided to put us on a few uh, stations. I guess we technically compete against uh, the Wake Up Club, Glenn and Rebecca. Yep. What would they be doing right now? Let's see. Uh, eight, tw well, no, seven. Tw man. They finished up Celebrity Gossip like a half hour ago. Uh, well, they're talking about how they have a nice show. Just got done with traffic. They, they're, they're talking. I got it right here. They have oh, oh. a nice show. Here's some audio from the Wake Up Club with uh -oh. Glenn and Rebecca. Soft Rock 106.5 WBMW. Thanks for waking up with the Wake Up Club. It's Glenn and Rebecca. It's 743. There's Maroon 5. I like it's Maroon slow. 5. Do you? Yeah. Well, we just played that song just for you. You did. Thank you. Because we're just so nice. <laughs> we're just oozing with niceness. Yes, you are. You know. Boring! Uh-oh. Has someone been calling them? Probably. Is that from today? Yeah, that's uh, from a little L while ago. Let me tell you something. I detected something in Glenn's voice there. Yeah. <laughs> there was a little sarcasm there. Yeah. Like, uh... Ah, he doesn't have the balls to acknowledge that we're beating him up today. Maybe word is getting to him that we're talking about the program. Mm -hmm. And he's said, we're just so nice. Nice. Nice, you... <laughs> well, niceness is for... <laughs> he even threw a do ya out there, but he didn't mean do ya. Do ya. He actually meant it. As do ya. The last 30 minutes of the song. Well, <laughs> and they did a little more uh, American Idol touch. Uh, oh, great. Let's watch at 6 o'clock this evening. That's when it gets underway. Yeah. So yeah. I'm not sure how we're getting this flooding, but it's coming from somewhere. Well, it's a good night to curl up on the. They're talking about a flood watch? Well. Is that what that was? It's your flood watch watch. A flood watch? What do your, you got? Your flood there? watch connection. Yeah, they just got out of the weather. Oh, they came out of weather. Yeah. And it might rain. Oh, yeah. It it's distressed gonna... them a little bit. Oh, yeah. It's going to rain. If, yeah, uh, rain in the New York area. Don't worry Connecticut about it. Area, whatever. Might be a little floody. Might be a few puddles around. Who gives a crap? It's flood watch. Let's hear about their flood watch. All right. All right. Flood watch at 6 o'clock this evening. That's when it gets underway. Yeah. So I'm not sure how... We're getting this flooding, but it's coming from somewhere. Well, it's a good night to curl up on the couch and watch a movie, or watch the rate, uh, the uh, what do you call it? Winners from American, the American Idol. Idol. Or the losers, I guess you can <laughs> vote it off. Yeah. yeah, most people are going to be losers, but <laughs> and again, in the game of life. Yes. I don't know where I'm going with that. But. <laughs> well, in the game of life, Glenn and Rebecca are losers. You're the losers. <laughs> Take a look at the mirror. Stuck at a dumb soft rock station in the middle of nowhere. Uh, you. He are the losers. They seem a little flustered. Mm -hmm. Good. I can't help but think they just seem a little off. Because they know everyone's listening right now. Yeah, everyone's listening to you guys. We just gave them a <laughs> oh, massive God. audience and they can't handle oh, it. Oh, God, they can't take <laughs> it. And they're like, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to. classic because it's obviously there's something up. Yeah, we got it. They're their tripping brains. over their own words. They can't <laughs> quite do that nice radio that they're, they're used to doing. I... Oh, this is <laughs> we got into their brains. Oh, <laughs> they're thinking good. about every word they're saying now. And you know, the stupid pests are just on them. I don't just know where I'm, on them. Know Wait till we going. start. I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm so flustered. I don't. Wait till we start following Glenn to see where he really goes after the show's over. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. First, <laughs> we'll drive by the junior high. <laughs> hey, your company, you know. 
They pretty much challenged us by throwing this stupid article out there. You accuse us of stuff, you jackasses. How long is this bitch's neck? She really oh should, she should be in a lake in Scotland. Her neck is really <laughs> irritating me. <laughs> Let me see the neck now. Look at her me. neck. I know it's radio at all. Oh, it's oh, awful. Wow. Yeah. Uh, maybe it was oh, Photoshop. it's fat, too. Yeah, well, she's got, a, she's got a safe haircut, too. It's a mom haircut. She's got a mom haircut. I'm sure there was a time she had long hair and she was doing some crazy stuff, but not no more. Not no more. <clears throat> all right. She looks like the kind of mom that would just... Like the kind of mom that would keep this stupid grin on her face she has, even though her kids may maybe are, are awful. Like what was that movie uh, years ago? God damn it! Uh, I'm not even gonna be able to pull it. Boys in the Hood. They've got me flustered. Yeah, just blurt out movies from years <laughs> whoa, whoa, ago. Whoa, whoa. Go ahead. No, uh, uh, it was the one. It was an Oscar winner, and it was Mary oh, Tyler ordinary Moore. People. Ordinary people. They, they robbed Raging Bull and Scorsese that year. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. She looks like the type of mom just like an ordinary people. Keep that smile on your face as you're just having a nervous breakdown. <laughs> Her favorite son drowned, but the other one's in therapy now. Yeah, everything's okay. Yeah. Everything's fine. I can't help but think uh, Glenn is very sad. He has sad eyes. Yeah, uh, it's a big man. I think man. he had big dreams yeah, it's a that didn't come man. true. Poor Glenn. <laughs> He's a beaten man. He really Yeah, there were dreams when he was maybe a little younger. And uh, didn't quite pan out. Now he's he's at some half-ass station in Connecticut, playing soft rock next to Rebecca, <sighs> doing the women's have the power hour. He's the hole on the show. Yeah, her neck is so long. If you look at the picture, they they should break this down like they do the Kennedy assassination when they <laughs> see where JFK was sitting. Her shoulders are at his nipples, and their head is almost equal in length. Wow, yeah. They had to sit her on a step below him <laughs> for that long, awful head and neck <laughs> so she wouldn't tower over him like Lurch. Well, if you look also, I'm not disagreeing with you, but he looks like a turtle pulling his head into a shell. Yeah, he is. <laughs> like, he's... <laughs> she, her head is completely out, and his is going back in. <laughs> Uh, he got a good castrating in the business. He sure did. Oh, he is miserable. He hey. often probably dreamt of other men rubbing things on his face. <laughs> <laughs> well, someone is saying Glenn sounds sad. Glenn does just sound he sad. He just looks sad. He has yeah, sad eyes and he sounds know where sad. I'm going with this. I hope. Oh, brother, I'm in hell. <laughs> he, <laughs> All right. Anyway, we're going to go to break with uh, with an old school bit because we are porn peddlers. Porn peddlers. Uh, hi, Mom. I'm in porno, Anthony. Ah, see? This fits the whole gist. I don't know where I'm going with this. Why do they play that tired bit again? I heard this a thousand times. Well, I say a few thousand people are hearing this for the first time right now. Then go listen to show. Glenn and Rebecca. That's what you should do. This Glenn and Rebecca thing gets... More and more interesting as the hours go by. A little more interesting, doesn't it? Who wants to bring everyone up to speed? And uh, you're actually really good at bringing everyone back to speed. Watch how I... Oh. Well, you do it very quickly, which I like. Well, there seems to be a uh, radio company. Uh, what the hell's their name? Red Wolf Broadcasting. Red Wolf Broadcasting that uh, doesn't want Citadel Broadcasting, who we are uh, carried by in a few markets, uh, buying ABC Radio. Uh, and their reasoning, they don't want the Opie and Anthony show to be on ABC radio stations. Uh, because, as they said in this little uh, report that they put out, uh, that we're smut peddlers. That we have websites that have smut on them and uh, pornography. And we are getting plugola for uh, this pornography. And it's not in the public's best interest. It's uh, grasping at straws is what they're uh, doing. And Citadel also showing uh, irresponsibility because they hired us. Yeah, because they hired us in the first place. Because uh, they were well aware that they were playing with fire by hiring Opie and Anthony. So that basically means they can't make any r really good decisions. And this yeah. would be a disaster for everybody involved. The reality is they w don't want the Opie and Anthony uh, program competing against their their really ridiculous morning shows. Yeah. It's a very small radio company, but they're, they're, they're getting a lot of noise today. Yeah, and uh, they... So we decided, all right, we're going to take a look at uh, Red Wolf Broadcasting. I'm and laughing see, whenever I look at these yeah, two. Yeah, and see what kind of uh, shows they have on the air. <laughs> and uh, we landed on poor Glenn and Rebecca. Glenn and Rebecca. <laughs> the wake-up club 
in some tiny town in Connecticut. I, I don't even know. Is it the same uh, town we're in up there? Near the uh, casino and all that? Yeah. All right. Yeah. New Canaan, right? London. New London. New London, right. This New is the London area? Fatso and Dragon Neck is the new name is. <laughs> if you're pushing like, it looks like 60, and you're in a small, small town in Connecticut doing radio with a bra that does the uh, the power hour for women... And you're oh, yeah. and you're and you're and you're not even good enough to to talk the whole time. You got to play soft rock hits. Kill yourself. <laughs> Kill yourself. So we're uh, doing a little research because they a little research because this company Red Wolf Broadcast and they feel like they know a lot about us. So we're like, all right, well, we better learn about them mm -hmm. and maybe some of their personalities. And boy, we just uncovered a doozy. <laughs> we certainly did. And we're just reading articles that so don't dump out of us. Yeah, these are articles that are uh, anyone could find all over the place. Unfortunately, I shut down my browser, or it shut down on me. And it, so I, I don't even have the story in front of me. You don't have it. it. I got the story. <laughs> I got the story. Um, I had the whole police blotter and everything. Oh, did you really? Oh, it was great. Are you gonna get it back up there I'm or what? I'm gonna try. Who is it? All right. Well, there we found a I doozy. I need her full name. Okay. Because I, I, that's what I lost. <laughs> Son of a. Bitch! All right, Pull like Sonny. Son of a bitch! Yeah, just write it down on the counter. Write it. <laughs> hang in there. Cabinet. By the way, before you trash this part of the uh, the show on a message boards li later on, we're just waiting for Anthony to get a website up. So, oh yeah. So chill for a minute. Yes. Yeah. Well, they sounded unprepared between <laughs> eight thirteen and eight fifteen a.m. Uh, Eastern time. Did we? Yeah. You mean uh, eight? You mean do you mean thirteen and fifteen past the hour? Past the hour. There we go. See, that didn't take long. Nope. All right. Well, I'll let me let me just read this story for you. Can I tell you something? I want to just uh, bring this to everyone's attention. Anthony, the more responsible broadcaster, he knows mm. exactly how to handle this uh, this 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 type of material. <laughs> yes. To keep everybody safe. Yes. And out of lawsuits. Uh, well, we've been talking about the Glenn and Rebecca show. Mm -hmm. It's the Soft Rock uh, 106.5 WBMW Wake Up Club is what they're called. We've been playing clips of them. Uh, they're fantastic. They are just marvelous local radio. They do the traffic every 15 minutes. Celebrity gossip at 6.20, 7.20, and 8.20. And then they have the Women of Power uh, at the 9 o'clock hour, where they talk about uh, women's uh, stories and on health and beauty and financial tips as um, Glenn just sits there with a, a dull razor blade and cuts off what makes him a man. <laughs> Jesus, what could he possibly do during that segment? Yeah? Yeah. Really? Ew. Coppery? <laughs> he has to stand there, just hold his genitals in a bag, and nod at her <laughs> stupidity. Good point, broad. Good point. Good just point, just, broad. Just thinking of his old gig, which was what was it, five to midnight on some awful old. Yeah, gig. yeah. That, that's uh, another thing. This poor guy, Glenn, who's got to sit there with this Rebecca, and and just yap like a woman. Uh, apparently, he was in Hartford before this gig. Um, doing seven to midnight at an oldies station. <laughs> <laughs> that could be the second worst gig in radio. What's the first? Third shift, John and Jeff here at oh. our own oh, good FNY point. New York. Good point. At least you're <laughs> not John and Jeff. The worst gig ever. Take that with you. At least you're not John and right. Jeff. Right. They should use that as a promo. We're two guys. All right. Wake up club. At least we're not John and Jeff. Hey, uh, by the way, uh, speaking of Glenn, the Lord from Whackbag, uh, Glenn's eyes are red and glossy. He's either stoned or been crying at the thought of another day at this effing station <laughs> with this effing... <clears throat> oh, he, you know he wakes up and just the first words out of his mouth are... Ugh, oh, Rebecca. I gotta listen to a broad. <laughs> Rebecca. <laughs> hey, Rebecca. Well, let what? me read this little story. All right. This uh, is from um, Police uh, Blotter. It's called Road Report. Um, and it's about a radio show host. Morning radio host and former traffic reporter for WJAR... Rebecca Morse Witten has been charged with refusing to take a breath test at Warwick Police Headquarters. 
Thursday morning before being handed over to Providence Police to be charged with hit-and-run accident on Allen's Avenue in that city. Morse Witten was accused of rear-ending a taxi cab and causing it to run into the front of Cheaters, an adult club located at 245 Allen's Avenue. Witnesses said the car failed to stop, and Providence Police uh, put out an attempt to locate call to surrounding towns. Warwick officer uh, Scott Rebellardo, whatever rebel, or, reported he heard the call around 1:15 a.m. and got a description of a 1999 Ford Expedition SUV that was registered to Marsh Witten at said address. Uh, he said he saw the vehicle. About 20 minutes later on West Road, West Shore Road, and pulled it over near the 400 block after he saw it cross the double yellow lines. He said uh, that uh, Rebecca Morse Witten appeared to be intoxicated. He said there were fragments of glass on the hood <laughs> and in the windshield wiper well. <laughs> and two middle-aged people having sex on the windshield. <laughs> <laughs> he said he asked her if she had been in an accident, and she said at first, uh, no. And then said... Can I raise my hand? Uh, yeah, of course. I mean, I am raising my hand. I just yep. want you to see that I'm raising my hand. Please tell me that they found a dead stripper's wig <laughs> in her grill. Oh, would that be great? <laughs> a big, high platform shoe with a goldfish swimming in the heel? <laughs> just a silicone implant splattered on a windshield with the wiper trying to <laughs> wipe silicone off. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I hit it, officer. I couldn't see a thing. I had stripper boob on my windshield. Uh, the officer asked if she had been in an accident, and she said no. And then she said if she was, she wasn't aware of it. He said she started doing badly on a failed sobriety test and refused to continue. She was taken to headquarters where she refused a breath test. She was charged with uh, laned roadway violations and refusal... And to take a breathalyzer and then turned over to Providence Police. She was arraigned in Providence District Court, uh, charged with leaving the scene of an accident um, with injury resulting. She was released on $50,000 personal recognizance. The cab driver who was injured, Thomas Gomez of Providence, uh, was treated and later released from our Rhode Island Hospital. A manager at Cheaters <laughs> said there was no damage to the club. Thank <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Wait, did you ever read the part? Because we're working on someone else behind the scenes. Here, yeah, about the license plate that was. Left well, yeah, scene. that's another bit of evidence that they got. <laughs> Apparently, when she hit cheaters, <laughs> her license plate came off, and that's how they were able to actually link her address <laughs> to the car. She left her license plate at the scene. She, she came home, and Christopher Walken and Mafia guys were waiting in her trailer for her. <laughs> <laughs> and your co-host, F head that she is. <laughs> Oh, I, I now love Rebecca. Uh, Rebecca she would, rules. She would, she would fit in perfectly with our audience. Now, what we got here, um, uh, we did a little research, yeah. and uh, there was another site <laughs> that said that Rebecca um, had landed a gig at WBMW, Soft Rock Station, and uh, that she should have filed some kind of a wrongful termination suit because apparently she got fired from Clear Channel for uh, this incident uh, since they said uh, she was found not guilty. So I guess when it went to court, she was found not guilty of these charges. So they're saying she should have went to court. Whatever. I, I know exactly what happened, too. The technicality oh. of her not being guilty. Oh, yes. Was uh, She claimed that she ate grapes, and by the time they fell down that long neck, they had fermented into alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying she's old still neck? <laughs> uh, Stephen Fabatio. Sure. Revenue is hitting it with an axe. <laughs> She should be charged with hosting a radio show without talent. <laughs> <laughs> also from Stephen, Rebecca gave the judge tapes of the show to prove that she's incapable of any sort of wild behavior. Ah. Mm. Well, now I just want to hear. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> well, I was driving down the road and I was just trying to get home because I had to get home with my kids and I do a radio show and I was driving maybe going a little faster than I should have and I, I was driving I saw the black helicopters were above me so I was uh, trying to get away from them and I hit a taxi cab 
and it I, then I careened into a strip club called Cheaters, where my license plate fell off. But then I called up uh, Glenn and told him to keep stirring the sauce because uh, I didn't want it to burn. And I had to drop off some uh, a demo tapes at another radio station because I'm so miserable with my gig that I wanted a, a different gig. <laughs> But then they found the cocaine in the back of the car and the drugs uh, and the guns. And I had to go to a hotel room with some very uh, uh, shady-looking uh, South American people and uh, uh, sell them guns and uh, get them drugs. Get drugs from them. I have no idea where I'm going with this. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. We gave it a shot. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what a, wow. Well, it sounds like she's a little more, uh, a little more wild than she comes across on the air. Mm -hmm. well, if you if you listen to some of her uh, her audio there, sounds very tame. Oh, she won't even bet a nickel. Oh, good old. Uh, Why bet it when you could just buy booze with it? <laughs> what happens in the power hour? The woman's power hour. She says, "Drink gin and do 80. See a cab, <laughs> move that mother effer, and hit the whore club, and then keep on going. <laughs> I don't stop for nothing, pigs." <laughs> <laughs> How great is this? This stupid Red Wolf uh, broadcasting and their dumb petition. Uh, they got the, their own problems in their own backyard. Uh, you want more audio of uh, Glenn and Rebecca? Yeah, because now it's, a, it's it's in a whole new light for me. Yeah. Now, n with this story. Okay. Last night, I went to go take a bath. I was a little bit cold. I'm at my house. Wait. I said, you know. <laughs> so you can't even listen to the audio. She's going anymore. to take a bath, and it was in gin. <laughs> <laughs> I figured that was the best way to sober up. Uh, hey, go bath. <laughs> then I realized I was still dressed, and there was no water running, and I was in a blackout. I wasn't. I actually had driven my vehicle into a lake <laughs> and thought I was in the tub. <laughs> <laughs> the cops found me washing my armpits and my long neck. If it wasn't for my long neck, I'd have drowned. It worked like a snorkel. I was 100 feet underwater, yet I was able to breathe. <laughs> you can't even listen to this anymore. But this, uh, this this brings a whole new oh, aspect man, to this, oh, this story. I love it. Uh, I like her a lot more now. She's yeah. the greatest. Last night, I went to go take a bath. I was a little bit cold at my house. I said, you know, I'm going to take a nice, hot, steamy bath. Mm -hmm. Well, I let oh. the water run too long, I think, and so it got into the... I wonder why she let the yeah, water run. <laughs> I run this goddamn tub. I'm going to take a bath. And then just plops down. She pass out for a while. She blacked out watching American Idol. Forgot she started the tub water. <laughs> oh, my God. I put the kid in the microwave and the turkey in the bassinet. <laughs> well, she said I was going to take a nice hot steaming. I'm like, this is going to be a great story. <laughs> <laughs> Bath? Damn it. I let the water run too long, I think. And so I, I got into the bathroom. It's like lukewarm. It defeated the whole purpose of that. And I'm thinking, oh, thank goodness that tomorrow is March 1st <laughs> because I won't have to do this anymore. So you're all well, pruny and what? what? Why, why did what? she only bathe in February? Is because her Negro lover likes that and <laughs> respect for the month? She does it. <laughs> <laughs> What does the day have to do with it? I guess because it's warming up. It's the only thing I could figure, as she won't have to take a hot bath because her heat's been shut off in her house. What have Turn up the thermostat, you cheapo. <laughs> They're not paying you over there? Uh, wow. Tomorrow's March 1st, because I won't have to do this anymore. So you're all pruny and clammy. <laughs> yeah, well, it didn't work out too well. I ended up being wet and cold and, you know. <laughs> A whole bit. But that was my New Year's resolution was to take, a take bath. more bubble baths. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, to take more bubble baths. And I thought, you know, it's March tomorrow, yeah. and I haven't really done that yet. So I figured I would give it a shot and see that, how that worked out. <laughs> Look at her picture and think bubble bath. Oh, well, say. You know, I'm impressed with people that can actually keep up their New Year's resolutions for the whole entire year. Oh, yeah? Way. I never can. Like drive home? <laughs> 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 my New Year's resolution. <laughs> I, I'm resolved to not hit another vehicle <laughs> and then vomit on a police officer. Her shoes. <laughs> how drunk? How drunk do you have to be on New Year's for your resolution to be to take more baths? Take more, <laughs> take more baths is what I want to do. Screw working out and eating right. Ah, screw it. I'm and just gonna say bubble baths. That's easy. <laughs> Did I just hit a strip club? <laughs> Yeah, she has no stick to on, on Lent. She gives up She gives up pumpernickel and olive loaf. <laughs> I'll just do without. I left my what? Where? Maybe she's the type of person who shouldn't celebrate New Year's in any way, shape, or form. Shouldn't even acknowledge it. <laughs> with, 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 
Hmm. Nah. Oh, right. I get yeah, you. Nah. Arthur. Yeah. Nah, yeah. <laughs> uh, let's go to Sean. You must have hated that <laughs> strip club. <laughs> Where are the rest of these ratings? Enough about the cab driver. <laughs> <laughs> Just takes off after hitting a strip. Club. Hello, officer. And they catch it because your license plate was left behind. Have you seen my license plate, officer? <laughs> he's taking the handcuffs out of his belt. You think he's going to handcuff me? <laughs> oh, I'm very bad with tests, officer. I can't touch my nose. Please don't take me in. I think now I should be going to the police station. <laughs> <laughs> Enough about Glenn. <laughs> uh, let's say hi to Sean in Jersey. Sean. Hey. Hey. How are you? What's up? You guys, you guys are killing me today. Oh, my God. I, I called earlier about the uh, wheelchair Fred. I have a friend. Uh, I wasn't able to get on, but uh, it, 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 we call him Power Wheels Pete, and it just totally is the whole... The whole resemblance is like it's just it's crazy. But the, you guys are you guys are driving me crazy with this with the radio station. I was thinking about maybe calling up there or something, and uh, I don't have the number or anything. Yeah, and, and yesterday everyone uh, everyone people behind the scenes are calling us like, oh god, this isn't good. Really, we'll take it right oh. back. To, uh, we'll we'll take it right back at them. I know. Yeah, no. I mean, I, 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 you know, I've been listening to you guys for years, man, uh, and and it's just like you guys are driving me crazy today. It, it, it's so, it's such a, a home run. You know what I mean? It's just hey. like, uh, all right. Thank in, you, Sean. In in thank my you. in my opinion, thank you. In my opinion, yeah. I think looking at a female breast or the female form mm. is a lot less uh, harmful mm -hmm. than. Um, Driving intoxicated. <laughs> and hit and run. <laughs> and maybe <laughs> hit, hit, and run. hit and run and things like that. It just seems to me that uh, looking at a breast uh, on a website might not be as harmful. Well, the best quote in this uh, petition, Citadel was well aware that it was playing with fire and chose corporate profits over the public interest when they hired Opie and Anthony. Oh, yeah? Looks well, like you might be playing with fire yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You well, can mean that literally with her. <laughs> they, 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 I don't know if they take requests, but is that on the website? Yeah. There's a phone number on the website. Maybe. Oh, on their website? Yeah. yeah you might want to uh, call that That's number. That's great. The radio station is WBMW. All right. Uh, yeah, well, give them a call, and uh, I'd request a song. Perhaps, uh, do they play any uh, George Thorogood? One bourbon, one scotch, <laughs> one beer? <laughs> Is that well? It's more. A, I like. I drink alone. Myself. I drink alone is a yeah. good one. Baby, you can drive my car. Baby, you can <laughs> drive my car. I'm sure you guys can think of a lot of songs that perhaps you can request. <laughs> request Sammy Hagar and just say I can't drive, and then have your phone like you know go out. Go out. I'm sure there's plenty of songs you could request that Rebecca would just love to play. How about my neck is long and my liver's hard? <laughs> Duda. 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 <laughs> Sot. <laughs> Ah, that's that's great. All right, why don't we uh, have a drink? Okay. Uh, <laughs> what hypocrites, man. Uh, why? God, is that annoying. What it's just that hypocritical thing. Why? They have an agenda. That Red Wolf has an agenda. They don't want the uh, station, uh, uh, the, uh, the ABC stations, to go over to Citadel for, for an agenda, for a reason. So they pull this morality crap. They pull this morality garbage about us that we're so bad, and that's the reason they, th this deal shouldn't go through. How about uh, the real dangers? How about real dangers out there? Authentic dangers, not this symbolic garbage of a booby on a website stop it already rebecca and glenn and sad glenn with the sad eyes. sad glenn i understand glenn oh my god that's the same beaten look i used to have when i was married <laughs> <laughs> and apparently they both have the same hobbies <laughs> drinking <laughs> we got mongo the trucker on the line mongo what's up Good morning, boys. Good hey, morning, Mongo. I got through to them and uh, told them I just moved to the area. He says, uh, 
so how do you like the traffic on Route 2? I said, oh, it's not bad, but I just got in an accident the other day. I rear-ended a taxi, and they went, oh, no. And I said, yeah, it's horrible. I left my license plate behind, so they found me. And, and you hear this very disgusted voice in the background, oh, it's real funny. <laughs> Thank you, Mongo. <laughs> yeah, they're getting beat up pretty good by the ONA pass. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, well, they, they don't know what to do. Ah, their company started uh, in with us, so this is what you get. This is what you get. Um, <laughs> Glenn and Rebecca. By the way, they're they're potty mouths. Ooh. No way. They're potty. There is no way. That is the cleanest, nicest show you're we've, ever going to hear. We've been playing audio all morning of the Glenn and uh, Rebecca. 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 Glenn and Rebecca. Their names are even safe. Rebecca. Glenn and Rebecca. The uh, Wake Up Club. Yeah. They got a club. Wake Up Club. It's a club. You gotta have a long neck to be in it. <laughs> yes. Big long neck, so or drink a few of them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's not for my job. That's not for the job. Right, thank you, Andy. That's that's a strip club being hit by a car. Looking at her neck, you'd think she was pulled over for riding in a bicycle basket in front of the moon. <laughs> 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 well, they're potty mouths. We're we're playing their audio today, and uh, and uh, you you might want to listen to this. They're getting a little edgy as the morning goes All on, right. as they head toward the 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 power hour for women. Maybe they're trying to compete. You never with know. Us. Who knows? Listen to this. Well, I already owe you one at this point. This oh. is fantastic. Is it good? Do you it, like I it really it. takes the edge off my morning. Yeah, I honestly thought it would be a little bit weird at first when I heard. And I thought, hmm, I'm not sure about that. But my friends you know, convinced well, me to try and I, I'm hooked. When you mentioned I said, that sounds like a good idea. Yeah, me. good. I'm loving <laughs> <laughs> Wow. They are risque. <laughs> they both love it, huh? Yeah, they both love it, huh? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Who put that together? <laughs> The dopes who are, who are looking to, to sue us. Okay, we added the beeps. Do we have to make it uh, blatantly obvious to everybody? Do we? All the time. No, we can bleep whatever we want. That's yeah, right. why not? Of course. But that's how we heard their break. Look out, Rebecca! Oh, that was a close one. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Just our head through the sunroof like a periscope. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Oh, we never got to wheelchair Fred. Ah, uh, wheelchair Fred. Right, uh, and we never got to the Letterman thing. Uh, Letterman gave his props last night. Uh, we made it to one of Letterman's bits last night. Everyone knows our fine, fine promotion, Whip Him Out Wednesday, right? Yeah. Well, Letterman did this <laughs> last night. You know, a lot of people are saying that uh, Fidel Castro is much better. Remember when he was ill and everybody thought it was lights out for Fidel? Yes. Apparently, he's uh, doing much, much better. And as a matter of fact, to prove uh, to his uh, supporters that he's doing just fine, he called uh, Hugo Chavez, the president of Venezuela, who is his own special kind of whack job, uh, has, a, has a radio show. And to prove to his uh, loyal uh, supporters, uh, Fidel Castro yesterday called in to Hugo Chavez's radio show. Did you hear it? We have I a clip. I was listening to yeah. Hugo Chavez at the time. <laughs> Here now is Fidel Castro calling Hugo Chavez. Take a listen to this. Y ahora, por favor, saluden al presidente cubano Fidel Castro. Hey, Hugo, my man, it's Fidel. Listen, I can't talk long since I gotta go get a sponge bath. I just want to wish all your listeners a happy Whip Em Out Wednesday and to ask if you play My Humps for Raul. Por ti lo que sea, mi amigo. How cool is that? That's good. I told you the writers listen to the Opie and Anthony show. Whip Em Out Wednesday. Thank you. They're actually big fans of uh, the Opie and Thanks, Anthony show. Thanks, boys. Even on That's the days funny. we suck. <laughs> oh, we gotta get that. Back on uh, what, what 11. Happened? Oh, boy. AIDS dies. Yeah. I'm going to have a TV show. Is it a reality show, apparently? On VH1, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Can't wait to see that. An old pal. Whatever. Or. Do we have more Glenn and Rebecca? Yeah, we have more Glenn and Rebecca. Uh, that's what I want. We're uh, really looking into this AP story we just read about her, uh, <laughs> allegedly, I guess. 
Well, <laughs> uh, from what I saw, saw uh, there was an arrest uh, on on a, a driving while intoxicated. Apparently, she um, got out of it somehow. There was a uh, not guilty. She was not guilty of that. Was it pled down to something? I need details on the case. But um, yeah, it doesn't take away from the fact that uh, she was arrested. Sure. And uh, she did hit a car. And a strip club. <laughs> the wake up show with uh, Glenn and Harry Chapin. <laughs> oh, oh, wow, Rebecca. <laughs> Harry Chapin. Got Hi, more. This is Glenn. Hi, this is Jane Mansfield. <laughs> uh, Mike in Connecticut, yes. Yeah, hey, how you guys doing? Hey, Good. Oh, and hey, I just got to tell you this, man. This. This chick is just out of her head. The only reason you take Alan's app, I used to live up there, is because you're either too drunk to make it on I-95 or you're just trying to get home. And by the way, Alan's app is a four-lane highway at that point in time, deserted as hell, and Cheaters is a building four stories high painted pink. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she's. You, you've got to be out of your brain. Well, that thing. She was seeing pink elephants, I guess. Yeah, a few of them. Yeah. Oh, okay, God bless. Later. All right, thank you. Thank you for that info. Yes, uh, there. Well, apparently our sources say that whoever this person was that got in that accident, it was pled down to a no contest of leaving the scene of an accident and property damage. Okay, wow. so wow. the intoxicated was uh, thrown out. Yeah. Wow. But it was still leaving the scene and. Oh, okay. Wow. Well, yeah. Whatever. I mm -hmm. I think I can read into things. I'm pretty good at that. Yeah. And uh, you know we're doing our own investigation. We're we're hearing something as we listen to the. Uh, mm hmm. What's their names again? Oh, uh, they're Glenn, so forgettable. I'm not Glenn even kidding. And Rebecca. Glenn and Rebecca. Glenn the Wake Rebecca. Up Club. Okay. The Wake Up Club. Whoa! Wake up. What are they? Wake up their listeners by crashing into their houses? <laughs> All right, I'm awake. It's the Glenn and Billy Joel show. <laughs> um, well, listen to this, Anthony. There's something a little, uh, a little off with her voice. Here. Oh, let's listen. Did you watch uh, American Idol last night? Caught little bits and pieces. Yeah, I went to bed. I expected that I would fall asleep, and I ended up staying up for the whole thing. But I think. Melinda Doolittle, she sang the Valentine song. <laughs> she is going to be the winner, I think. She's you think amazing. So, huh? Well, you're going to put money on that? Yeah, you know, maybe I don't know. I don't gamble. <laughs> maybe uh, a nickel. <laughs> there are plenty of venues to do that around here. Right, right. <laughs> well, well, that certainly sounded suspect. <laughs> How do you not love the Glenn and Nick Nolte show? It's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> well, Red Wolf Broadcasting, it's your serve. Yeah, your serve, on. buddy. We uh, we commented. There you go. There's our comments. We got more potty mouth audio. Oh my God! They're we, they're we trying too hard now. Audio? They're trying too hard now to compete with us. Yeah, they're talking about American Idol again, uh, but this time, <sighs> not so radio friendly. Really? Oh, really? Mm. I hope you got the beeps in there. Oh, of we got to keep it safe. Uh, got to keep it safe. Uh, Al, 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 Al. Li listen close, Al. These are potty mouths. You're about to hear. One. Did you watch uh, American Idol last night? Caught little bits and pieces. Yeah. I went to bed. I expected that I would fall and I ended up staying up for the whole thing, but... <laughs> I don't know why she added that in. Why would she, yeah, add that in? That didn't seem like information that was pertinent to the, the story. <laughs> she no, figured she would... I don't know why she just decided that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. When, when 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 that happened, Opes and I've seen enough time where things have gone through. His eyes, oh, your eyes open. Yeah. Like, did that go? Did that go? Like, was that too much? It was an instinctive reaction. Like you just heard profoundly. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Oh, uh, it was perfect. All right, let's listen again. Did you watch uh, American Idol last night? Caught little bits and pieces. Yeah. I went to bed. I expected that I would fall, and I ended up staying up for the whole thing. But I think Melinda Doolittle, she sang the Valentine song. She is there. I think. She's 
You're gonna, <laughs> there are plenty of <laughs> around here. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I know what should be said? There? Yeah, isn't that weird? You absolutely know what words, what filthy words should be under those beefs. Wow. Oh, what? That show is filth. Potty mouth. Smut peddlers over there. That's what I said. The Glenn and Rebecca show. Just, oh, what a dirty, dirty show. Uh, let's go to John in Jersey. John, what's up? Hey, Jen. Hey, what's up? Uh, I think we should change the name of the show to Wake Up With Whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> Wake Up With Whiskey. <laughs> Hello, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, guys, uh, that was a lot of fun today. Yes. A lot of fun. I like when we have a little, uh, a little spunk. Little uh, people to throw things at. Did well, you if, fire a little pea shooter at us, and uh, what happens? If you're gonna call us smut peddlers, you better be well prepared. We pull out your criminal history. <laughs> you better be well prepared. Guess where I'll be peddling smut this weekend? Where, oh. Jimmy? <laughs> <laughs> Bananas Poughkeepsie tomorrow and Saturday. Poughkeepsie.